the dominoes for this trick, you're also going to need a spacer. It's fine if you don't have one of these. You can also make your own out of Legos. If you're making your own, it's important that they're one stud apart per spacer. The first thing you're going to want to do is place your spacer on the ground. You're going to want to fill every space of it with your dominoes. When you're done and you've got to do however long you want your tower to be, you're going to carefully pull out your spacer. This can be a tricky step, so make sure you take your time. And just like that, you've got your first step done. Your next step is when it gets to be a bit trickier. You're going to want to place your dominoes on top of three. So now when you're done with that, you don't want to just go on to the next one. You're going to want to skip one domino and go on to the next. So it looks like this with one domino in the middle. You're going to continue doing this pattern until you're done. Any extra dominoes you have at the end, you can take away. Now that you have your base layer complete, you're going to add your other layer on top. You're going to want to place the dominoes on top of the edges like this. Kind of just making another second row. An important thing to note is that you don't place them right here because you're making a triangular shaped wall. You really don't want to place them here or else it's going to mess up the placement of your next dominoes. You're going to want to put these in the middle. You don't want them to be on top so you see an O shape. You want them to be like this where you see a staggered shape in the dominoes. You're simply going to place dominoes like this throughout the whole top. Now your next layer. You're going to do it one more time. To finish it off, you're going to take three dominoes and do the same thing at the very top. This structure is called a speed wall because, as you can imagine, it falls pretty fast. If you want to lead up to the structure, you can just add your spacer here and add in some dominoes. Pretty simple like that. Just make sure it's about a domino length away from here. Also, if you want to continue on to this side, you can do the exact same thing. If you want to include this into a struct, um, into a setup, I always recommend this trick rather than the regular domino wall because it's much easier and faster. Let's topple it. This next trick is called an octa wall because, well, it's a domino wall shaped like an octagon. There are ways you can do this where they're all combined. I've done a few on my channel with screen links and compilations and videos. But for this one, I'm just going to show you the regular version. Let me know down below in the comments if you'd like to see a tutorial on how to do the multiple lines of octo walls. Your first step is to take four dominoes. It's a bit hard to see the placement. But when you place them like this, you want it to be able to have a clean edge. You want these two dominoes to be completely across from each other and these two to be across from each other equally as well. You're going to want to make the spaces equal in the middle. This one you kind of just have to eyeball. Next, you're going to do your next level, which is pretty simple. You're just going to put them on reverse. You don't want to put them like this because that's going to mess up the shape. You're just going to place them snugly like so. You're going to continue this pattern however many times you want to. Up on the top, there's this cool method I like to use that makes it look really awesome. Simply, you're going to start going in by maybe a centimeter or two each time you go around. So each time you put another layer on, there's a little bit of domino sticking out from the layer underneath. For example, this way, when I put my next layer on, you can see they're starting to get closer together on this little gap than this gap. You're gonna continue this until you get it all the way to the top. Oh, this thing is so tall, I can't even fit my camera on the screen. You're just gonna finish it off with two dominoes. 
take your final domino, add it on top. Usually what you do to knock this down instead of is you attach a string to one of the dominoes near the middle, but for this purposes, I'm just gonna knock it right down. This next trick is probably the easiest out of all of them in this video, but I use it a whole lot and I build. Sometimes I just use it to make it look kind of like fireworks, it's really cool. But I think it's technically called the three-way split technique. Anyway, you're just going to start off with three dominoes and place them just snug like this in a triangle pattern. This is the view from above so you can see exactly the angle they're at. Finally, this is important. You're gonna wanna take this one and place it in the middle of them. So for example, if it's going in this way, you want this one to be in between these two dominoes at a cross, so that way it'll knock them both down. Okay, once your dominoes are placed in this pattern, you can just add lines off of all three ends. There's just one very important step that you need to follow, is that the lines need to be coming in from this side. So say they're in a setup, you can't have the lines coming in from here because it's just gonna push that one domino. This one isn't gonna fall. So you're gonna need the line to be coming in from this way, not any of the other two. This is it falling down. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love making tutorials, so let me know down below in the comments if you'd like to see more of them. I should be back with some more Lego projects I'm working on really soon, maybe some domino projects too, but most of all, I'm working on an epic trick shot video, so make sure to click that subscribe button right now so you get to see that later. I'll be back with another video very soon. Bye!